Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be sharing a very exciting thing with you that is how you can deploy a Solidity contract in your VS Code itself. All you need is an extension called Remix. So let's get started. First, head on to the extensions tab over here or you can just click on Control, Shift and X and then you can search for Remix. Here you'll get a Remix, uh, Ethereum Remix IDE that is also called famously Remix Project. So just go ahead and install it. And once you're done with that, you'll find something like this, a Remix ID icon on the left side of your screen, right? So it looks something like this. It has a compiler, it has a debugger, it has a IPFS, it has run and deploy, and you can also set the compiler version as well. So for running this, I have a basic, very basic function that is hello world. So this is my basic contract, hello world, and I'll just be printing hello world for that. To get started, first we have to get started with Ganache CLI. So let me just go ahead in my terminal. This is my terminal right at the bottom of your screens. And you can write just Ganache dash CLI CMD. And it will take some time. And if you don't have Ganache installed, you can use M NPM to install Ganache on your devices via terminal only. So my Ganache is open now and you can see we are using port 8545 here. So once it's on, let's go ahead and compile our Solidity contract. So click on compile under remix and this window will open up. So click on hello world.sol and you'll say compiling with latest version. It's compiling your program. So once compiled, it will say compilation finished for hello world.sol with solidary version this, right? So make sure that you are very much compatible with the kind of version that we're using for solidity. It always, it's always good to be on the version that is used in the compiler. So it helps in compatibility, right? So once the compilation is done, let's go ahead and click on run and deploy. So when I click on run and deploy, I get this window called activate. Just click on that and you'll see another window pop up, which is for run and deploy. It will take a little bit of time, but you'll see something like this on connection. So it's a HTTP and the port we have is 8545. So many a times will be that this port would be uh, 7545, but make sure that you have the exact same port number as on the terminal you're running the NASH on. So we need that terminal, right? So let's go ahead and connect it. And when I am connected to Remix ID and I have lots of accounts to choose from. So let me just go ahead and choose the first one only. And now I can compile hello world again, but I've already done it. Let me do it again. And I'll be compiling hello world. And uh, here you can see compilation finish for hello world. And next is that I go ahead and deploy hello world. So click on deploy. It's deploying on uh, blockchain. That is test blockchain, not uh, the actual blockchain. So it might take a little bit of time because it's running locally. And yeah, it's done. So it's deployed. So this was my previous uh, deployment. This is my current deployment. I click on this and I'll have a call button here. So let me just call hello world. While I call hello world, it will show me the estimated gas cost. So it's around 239190. And once it's deployed, it will say hello world. So it's called the method hello world and it's printed hello world. That was supposed to be the program. So that is the basics of running Remix on VS Code. It's very simple that in a simple uh, program, you can just compile, you can run, you can write your code in Solidity and you can deploy it on blockchain as well. 
so it actually reduces a lot of infrastructure that you need right so once you have done this you can also go ahead for debugger so it's a debugger and you can activate the debugger so if you have a lot and lots of code you can use make use of debugger and you can actually start debugger over here and you can check out where you're getting some errors or anything right and once you're done with the deployment and all make sure that you disconnect and you if you want to turn off the GNAS CLI as well you just go ahead to the terminal and uh, you have to just uh, use control and C to log off from the GNAS CLI so I hope this tutorial a small tutorial on using Remix in VS Code was helpful to you do check out the official video of Remix ID that makes more interesting how you can deploy remix id on vs code and if you have any doubts do drop it in the comments see you next time till then keep learning